All right, so here we have what? What is this? Y yeah. It's an equation. That's exactly the answer I was looking for. And uh, good job for answering my big question. Okay, so it's an equation. Equations need to be true, correct? What means? What, what does it mean when they're true? They're not false. They're not they're correct. Thank yeah, you. So they're, they're correct, right? So both sides are equal. equal. Sure, equal. The same, of course. But it's a silly question. Okay. Um, now, we're going to talk about graphs. We've talked about graphs before in kind of a general sense. All right, now we're going to get specific into a specific kind of graph. But we're going to discover what this kind of graph is and then explain to ourselves why we know that this kind of equation makes the kind of graph that it makes. Yeah. Uh, so you tell me from what you know about graphs so far if this point is on the graph that this equation makes. Just to yourself in your notes, I want you to test that point. I want you to see if that point belongs to the graph for this equation, okay? If you're not sure, give it your best shot, take some guesses. I'm imagining some of you can get what I'm asking here, some of you may not, okay? That's all right. We're all going to know in just a minute, but in your notes, I want to see what you do with that challenge. Figure out at this point, belongs to the graph of that equation, y equals 3x. So let's talk about, is it possible for this point to belong to the graph of this equation, this function? Can someone tell me something about this point? Um, the point is 1, 4. It's at x is 1 and y is 4. Right? Yeah. 1, and wait, it, just that. That's all I wanted to know for the moment. OK? Everybody agree? Agree. It's at 1, 4. What's this axis called? X. X, X axis. axis in this one? Y axis. All right. So uh, this 1 is the X and this 4 is the Y. So this point, the, its location at 1, 4 tells me that X is what? X is 1. And Y is what? 4. OK, now let's look at the equation. Could the equation have X be 1? No. Why can't x be 1 in that equation? 3 times 1 is 3. Listen up. Could x be 1 in that equation? That's my only question. No. No. Why can't x be 1 in the equation? Clint? Because it's 3x. So anything that equation is, it has 3x in it. OK. My question is, can I take out the x yes. and replace it with a 1. Yes. 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 That's the way variables work, right? Mm -hmm. They vary. They take on different numbers, whatever number we want them to take on. Right? Right. OK, so far so good. Mm -hmm. x could be 1, OK? All right. Now, separate from that question, forget about x for a second. Could, could I make y 4? Could I just say y is 4? Yes. 4y is 4. 4y? Yes. 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 No, just 4. Y is 4. Y is replaced with 4. Can I put a 4 there? Yes. Yes. Sure, I can make Y 4. Sure, I could. But the question about this point is, does this point belong to the graph? No. Why not? Grace? Because um, they're not equal. Both sides aren't equal when what? When we take this point, its information is x is 1 and y is 4. So if I go to the equation with that information, it doesn't fit. How so? Like, what, what should the equation look like if I try this point, try to like test this point out? Um, it'd be 4 equals 3. 4 equals 3. To be really picky, 3 times 1. Is that true? No. No? It is not true. 4 does not equal 3. So this point does not belong on the graph of this equation. Could you tell me a point that does? Ethan? Um, if it was on the x was 1 and the y was 3. So if I just, just uh, make that point right there. Yeah. 
Instead of 1, 4, it's 1, 3. Okay, now the 4 is a 3 instead. You put a 3 here and a 3 here. Is it equal? Yeah. We found a point. It belongs to this graph. Now that is all a graph is. A graph is made of a bunch of what? Here's the graph over here. We have the about the tiniest part of the graph that we possibly could find. What is that thing called? What piece of the graph is this called? Point. A point. Uh, point. It's made up of points. It's made up of points. How many points is a graph made up? Infinite. An infinite number. Okay. So if I want to know what a particular graph looks like, how to draw it, I need a lot of points. I need all the points. I need an infinite number of points. But we don't have that kind of time. And mathematicians don't work that way. They try and find patterns. Okay. We're going to find a pattern for a, a particular subset of equations. Okay? The equation with y and the x in it. So, so y equals 3x. So what I want you to do now is each of you find two points that do belong to the graph of this equation. We found one of them. There's one. Find two different ones. I want you to try it to see if it works. Okay? And I'll be glad to help you with it individually. Right? And then we'll come together in the class. Okay, let's uh, grab some points from all of you. Who's got another point? Kyler? Uh, two. Positive two to six. So, two for x. So, two for x means. I mean, uh, yeah, two x and six for y. Six y. Six for y. So, I don't want to say two x. Two x sounds a little bit tricky. Like, are you saying two times x? Yeah, but, but no. two equals x. Yeah, two, two equals x. Or, yeah. Two, x is two, not four x. X is two means that. Y is, y is six. six. Yeah. So x is two means y is six. Is that true? Yes. yes. How do you know? It's because three times two is six. Three times two is six. Three times two is six. Grace. Okay. X equals three and three equals three. Three equals three. Y equals three. Y equals nine. Do we agree with that? Why do we agree with that? Because three times three times three three equals nine. Three times three equals nine. So if x is three and y is nine, the equation is what? Three nine. Nine equals three times three. Which is nine. True. 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 Right? The equation is true. Molly? Um x equals four and y equals four. No. Starting to run out of room here, but we got these to just barely fit it. 11, 12. Ethan? X is 5 and Y is 15. Okay, that is true, and that point would be part of the graph, but it's too far for me to graph. So let's get points that I can fit. Oh. That's even more not able to fit. Bridger? Negative x equals negative 3 and y equals negative 3. Negative x equals negative 3? No, x equals negative 3. x equals negative 3 and y equals? Negative 9. Negative 9. You guys are like really good. But, do We agree with that? Negative 3 for x and negative 9 for y? Okay. So for the negative three and negative nine, yep. how would you do that when it's positive three x? So what does three x, Grace? What does three x mean? Um, three it means three times whatever number x is. Three times whatever number x is. And what is x, Sarah? In the case that you're asking about? Oh, negative. Right. So just three times negative three. Oh, three times negative nine. Now remember, sometimes when I say uh, x is two, or say plug two in for x, I get a lot of like two times x. Is that what is that? That says two times x. It doesn't say x is two. If I want x to be two, I put two in place of x. I take x out and I put two in. Yeah. Ethan, um, x equals negative one 
and y is negative 3. Negative 1, negative 3. How about x is negative 2? How about x is 0? x is 0 and 1.5. 0 0. What? 3 times 0 is 5 and 1.5. 0. Oh, my God. We're not doing points. Are we doing decimals? We can, can we? Yeah. So, so x is? x equals 0. 0.5. Uh -huh. And y equals point, I mean 1.5. Okay. 0. 0.5, 1. 1.5. Yeah. Were you expecting for that point to wind up there, Sim? Huh? I'm not paying attention. <laughs> then at least don't distract other people. All right, sit your feet forward and remain quiet. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, we can do decimals, right? There's no reason we can't. Were you surprised to, that when we plug in 0. 0.5 and got 1.5 that the point wound up? Right there as opposed to there or there? No, mm -hmm. because there's a point before it. There's a point before it? That point, you mean? No, I'm talking about the decimal point. Oh, yeah, that point then. Well, are you, would you be surprised if, the, if I put a point here or yes. here? Why would you, you just be surprised by that? Because it's no. fully added. No, because it's half the point. Because it's a function. I don't think any of these things apply. Because it's a half, it's in half. See, it's like half of one point five is half of one, so it's in the middle going up. Okay, calm down. How about if I put a point here? Would you believe that that point is part of this graph? Yeah. Why? There's no because. Molly. There's no way. Because um, for it to be in between there, it has to be um some. <coughs> 2.5 and 2.5 uh, something times um, uh, 12 times or whatever does it equal 2.5. What she said. What? If you take 3 times something, it wouldn't equal that. Oh, wait, no, that's x. So something, okay. <laughs> um, so x would be 2.5. So 2.5 times like uh, three wouldn't equal 12. Okay, so it wouldn't fit the equation. But what about just looking at the rest of the points that we've already put on there? It's not consistent because you can see that the rest of the points, they all kind of line up. They all kind of line up and kind of started to form some kind of a shape. But this point certainly doesn't seem to fit. No. And if we did the math, then we would, we would know that if we did plug in 2.5, we should get, I don't even have to look at the equation anymore because I can just follow this pattern and, and at least guess that the y value for that would be 7.5. 2.5 times 3 is 7.5. And then yep. if you like plug in something else, you could go right in the middle of Or right now I could, I don't even, like I can take, make a, a pretty educated guess based on where all these points are lining up, uh, what the input or what, what the what the y value should be for any x value, right? I bet if I put in uh, one point five, the y value would kind of be right in between these two. I bet it would be four point five if I put in one point five. So again, how many points could we plot? theoretically infinity. If we were to plot, to plot infinity points, then what would this graph look like? But it would be a solid line that would go um, like the east to the west without never ending. Without ever ending. Because we could continue or to plug, we could plug in 10, we could plug in 30, we could plug in a million and, you know, 3 million comes out. There's some point at 3 million, or 1 million, 3 million. Okay? Now, how do you know that all these points together, why are you convinced that they make a perfectly straight line? No curve at all. They don't. Other than just looking at it and say, well, look, I want you to point like 
do some mathematical reasoning. Why are you so sure that if I keep plotting these points, I'll get a straight, perfectly straight line? Because they all equal 0.6666 when you divide the x by the y. I think it's 6.6. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that would be like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first thing you do. Yeah, but it's like the first Well, because um, on here, so if you just take one times two, you're just going to get two. If you take um, three times two, you're just going to get six. And you just kept, keep like applying that as you keep going on. And each, um, well, for this one, each um, y adds three if you really like whole numbers. I don't know. It's little, like, it's just a straight line. It's like there's like tons of different decimals, it, but you're still going to get the decimals between the numbers, the whole numbers, and I'll just keep going because each all the decimals have to kind of connect the points. So if we look at the whole number values, we see this pattern. We move over one, like we go to the next whole x value, and the y is just three higher than the last y value. What Danielle is saying is like if I start here at this point, okay, so this is one three. If I move over to x is two, so we know y is six. Well, that's just three higher than three. If I move over to three, the y is nine. That's just three higher than six. Every time I move over one on the x, I move up three in the y. Right? This kind of function, it's just like I think somebody else said multiple is three. Wait, multiple is even a multiple of three. Oh wait, no, I said that. You said that. Okay. Uh, we just get multiples of three as long as we look at the whole numbers, right? And that we can see is a just kind of a steady, almost a stair-like pattern. Not all graphs, not all functions follow that kind of a pattern. Only linear graphs, linear functions, they're the only ones that do that. They're called linear because they make lines. You can hear the word line in the linear, right? So only this kind of function, okay, only certain kinds of functions, certain kinds of equations will generate a line graph. A graph that is a line as opposed to a curve. Okay? So I, I wrote this down because this is very good. What Daniela said is very uh, on the nose. It is exactly why we can be sure this graph is a line instead of a curve. Because it's a steady pattern of move over one for x, move up three for y. One over for x, up three for y. Okay. Um, Forty-one for this class, right? So, yep. We should go for homework. No. No. Uh, let's think about this graph. Y equals three x plus. I don't want you to shout anything out loud. I want you to look at this, think about its graph, draw its graph if you want, find points on its graph. Okay. Actually, I want you to do that. Find two points on its graph. Find two points on its graph. Okay. Two points. And ask yourself, decide for yourself whether this will be a line. I mean, if I add five, maybe that's going to like make it curve up or something like that. So ask yourself if it's a line, yes or no. Don't shout it out loud. Don't give it away. Don't take learning away from other people. Find two points and ask yourself if it's going to be a line. For this one. Yes. Um, x equals 2 and y equals 1. Okay, agree? Yeah. 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 It x is 1 and y is 8. <laughs> 1 and 8? Yes? Yes. Yes. Um, yes. 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 But on the first one, don't you add 5 to the other? Aren't they? <coughs> Well, let's just give it a try. Three, I'll make x2. Right, two, x is 2. That's just 6 plus 5. It's 11. The whole time it's just set equal to oh. y. So y. Oh. Another? 3 and 14. 3 and 14. 9 plus 5. Yeah, 14. 4 and 17. 4 and 17. 16 plus 
Okay, have a good day. Those two problems are homework.